Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. Uh, First Warden Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Just an update on what's going on weather-wise. Today, kind of chilly right now. You can see temperatures across the Carolinas, generally in the 40s and 50s. But really, all the attention today is focused on what's going to head our way tomorrow into Thursday. You can actually see the storm system developing here across the middle of the country. And this is going to be a pretty potent system. And with the recent rains we've seen across a lot of the Carolinas, especially in the mountains and foothills. We're going to have to be on guard for the potential for some flash flooding or significant flooding to some of these creeks and streams. Severe weather-wise, uh, right now it's kind of interesting. we got kind of a wedge set up uh, over the Carolinas, which is going to make things really hard to get thunderstorms to develop. But if we get anything, if that wedge front, that boundary of warm air surges to the north, we could see some straight line winds or even tornadic type thunderstorms. You can see the slight risk uh, for Thursday, actually late tomorrow into Thursday, is basically to our south. But I wouldn't be shocked if over the Carolinas we see some potential uh, for some severe weather. From a heavy rain standpoint, this is the NAM model. You can see it, um, the picture down in my blog. But you can see that these amounts in purple, that's anywhere from two to three inches. And this is an area that saw about two to four inches just on Sunday and an inch earlier last week. So there's been some heavy rain in that area. You could see the potential from the hydro, um, hydro Meteorological Prediction Center. Basically, same story, about two to three inches banked up against the mountains. And part of the problem in the mountains is, we're going to show you how this thing unfolds, is not only do you get rain from the storm, but when you, we get something called upslope. And you can actually see the wind starts to churn from the southeast or the south. When that wind, especially moisture-laden wind, piles into these higher elevations, the mountains themselves act like a stalled frontal boundary. They lift the air, producing heavy rain, and you can get areas on eastern-facing slopes that get absolutely clobbered. You can see the squall line developing here on Thursday and moving through, and then the front moves out. But notice on the backside, there's another cluster of showers, even some heavy showers and storms, and snow moving into the North Carolina mountains on the back side of this thing. And look how this thing spins up at the coast. This is what's kind of interesting to me. This is, um, this could be kind of interesting on the back side of this. And here's the thing that's kind of interesting. This is the 500 millibar vorticity. And if you, if you watch this carefully, you can see this system kind of unfolding back to the west and then heading our direction. But notice this big 500 millibar piece of energy that comes in on Thursday. I mean, look at that thing. That's, this is the NAM model. Here it is on the GFS, very potent um, 500 millibar area of energy coming in. This is also really cold air aloft. If you look at the 850 millibar temperatures, you could see it's really cold under that. So there's a chance there could be some, some snow associated with this. Um, I start looking at the snowfall forecast uh, from the models. It keeps most of the snow to the north, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of grapple or something on the back side of this. Uh, and you can see it developing snow in the mountains there. The other interesting thing about this is how much shear there is in this system. You take a look at the shear. Uh, this is a look at the shear. Let's go into um, late Wednesday into Thursday morning. That, that's a lot of wind shear. The only problem with that amount of shear is we don't have any way to tap into it, uh, which is actually a good thing at this point. This is the caper, uh, the convective available potential energy. You notice that's confined to the south of us near the Gulf Coast, but if that should creep up into the Carolinas, then all bets are off. We could definitely see some severe weather with this. It's really going to depend on the stability here. You, to, to tap into that wind shear, you got to get something surface-based, which means basically uh, a thunderstorm that builds from warm air at the ground and builds up into that wind shear. Um, as far as what it looks like as the system moves through, let's take a look at future radar. We'll pop the radar on here. And again, this is from the NAM model. Uh, you can see as we go out into the future, it's kind of a multifaceted system. It looks like a couple waves of storms develop uh, and then move through. And then on the back side, we could see another round of showers develop. Again, the NAM uh, doesn't always do a great job with this. But that's a look at what's heading our way uh, Wednesday night and the Thursday. Be prepared for heavy rain and the possibility of flooding. Of course, if anything should change, I'll keep you up to date here on the blog, on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget, today starting at 4 o'clock, we'll have an update on what's heading our way with, with, with the flash flood watches, which are already up. And we'll be basically giving the updates at 5, 5, 36, and 11. We'll see you then. Hope you have a great Tuesday.